Okay, I've got this thing set up, this L32. I've got 192.168.1.40 in it. And I'm using Ethernet, not DF1. So the first thing you got to do to connect to a controller, to put a project in it, you're going to have to tell, you're going to have to go to new project. And then in this is version 20, so the studio is going to be a little different but effectively the same. You still have to tell it what hardware you want to use. Okay. And that is going to dictate the, the memory size and, and everything about it. So I'm just going to get this done. I'm going to call this um, produce consume 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 because I do want to use this with an let's see Ultimately, this will be done. There'll be a project with a 340 ER that I'm going to do some produce consume between these two. So there will be a video for that shortly. But anyway, that's what this is. So an L32, it, you can't do a chassis type or a slot because there is no chassis. So you can see all these options. Security, we're not going to do that. We'll put it in the default location. That's fine. All right, so this is an empty program. Okay. All right, let's just get it in there. So we have no path, so we'll select recent. You can see some of my other stuff. Let's just download this in there. So there's some other machines from where I, wor I work and departments and whatnot. But anyway. Connected controller has no name. It's a 32E slash A, yada, 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 yada. There's my serial number, download. Okay. Now, I'm connected directly to this thing, so I really can't hurt anything. All right. Let's go to run mode. I hope that chime wasn't too loud. I just heard that chime at, oh. All right. Is it not going to let me? Uh, can't get run mode. That's weird. Whoa, we're faulted. At least one wrong, at least one required connection I established for going to run mode. I.O. fault. Hmm. Okay, so I bet you this is because I didn't put an end cap on it. Let's see. Let's see if we can get away with this. Uh, test mode. The controller knowledge request is not completed. Okay, so now it's going to fault again. You can see here it's in remote. And it is. Or faulted. Yeah, it's giving me an I.O. fault. And you can see there's no I.O. in this thing. I don't have another end cap I'm willing to risk right now. I guess, yeah. Yeah, th these models have a, have a right side end cap that complete the bus and this old unit must require that so uh, all right let me let me continue later okay I put an end cap which is a 1769 dash ECR and it is a series a whatever I put that on this unit and now I'm pretty sure run mode is going to be fine and you can see that it is so this uh, these I think they're called X series compacts maybe um, L, like L3 X series they they need an end cap some of them maybe don't I don't know the Y's I don't know okay so 
now we're we're online with it. Um, that was it. You do need the end cap, obviously. Now the the left side end cap, all it has in it is it it houses the battery. So you don't need that end cap. It doesn't have any electrical connections. But anyway, okay. So now you're online. Now you can double click and yeah. Uh, well, let's see here. What's going on? This thing is being crazy. It's not letting me do any online edits, which is really strange. I don't understand fully what's going on here. Like everything's grayed out. I don't know. Let's see here. All right. Let's go offline. What's weird is the battery's not showing up. Yet, there is a battery, so that battery must be really screwed up. Main routine. Uh, uh, uh. I can't add routines. Is that weird? That is crazy. Let's go back online. You know, I don't, okay, I do have a run light. That's interesting. All right, go offline. No, still can't add a routine. That is weird. Open. I don't get it. That is bizarre. I wonder if it's because I've never opened. I don't want to show you that. I wonder if I've not ever opened um, activation on this particular PC. So let let me look into that without boring you and showing you all the guts of uh, our setup over here. Okay, guys, so I hooked this computer back up to our intranet, and I closed this software down, and I opened up my activation manager, made sure I could see my, my activation um, license server, and then I opened the project back up, and now you can see here I can edit rungs. So I don't know, it was a one time deal, maybe version 20 or maybe RS Logics 5000 had never opened. Let's just see here. Let's just see what it's got to say now. Right? So, whatever. This is what I'm used to seeing. So I was actually a little surprised to not see what what you saw there, where you have to put a you know a no op in there or something. I've never been able. I didn't know you could delete that you know this rung, but yeah, I guess you can. Whatever. So that's what I know, I'm used to seeing is kind of empty rung there. So all right. So lesson learned there. I've never. This is a, a setup, like a hello world for someone who's never had to deal with any of these things before. Um, you know, I wasn't too freaked out by any of this because as people who work with Rockwell know, this is sort of regular, normal Rockwell, <laughs> Rockwell stuff. So, all right. So there's your hello world. Then I'm going to keep kind of going on with this uh, to show how to set up a, a produce consume, like I said, with a L340ER, which is a very new version is the 5380 series compact so all right we'll get to that shortly